So in this video, I'm going to talk about why you aren't able to learn to code. Um, you've probably been coding for a couple of months and you still don't really understand the subject. You know, maybe you've picked up Python or JavaScript on like free code camp and you're like typing away thinking that you're making progress. But when it's time to actually code, you know, trying a project or two, you're unable to apply your knowledge fully. I'm probably going to receive hate in this video because people might not want to hear the truth. But to be honest, I'm willing to lose some subscribers to get the truth out there. Now, uh, my name is Nazar. I'm a self-taught developer. Uh, I started from nothing. I had no tech background. I have got a degree in law and I switched over into tech to start a business which I am doing right now. So if you want to do the same, then please subscribe. It literally costs you nothing and it means the world to me. So it would really go a long way. So let's go back eight months ago, okay? I had no tech background. I never touched code or wrote a line of code ever, okay? I, I, I did not even do it in my computer science class. I, I never typed a single line of code. It was mostly just writing. Um, and I wanted to be a coder. I saw these people that were coding and I was like, damn, that's a really cool business to go down. I really wanted to start like a software business. So I was like, okay, let me start that. Now I started to code in Python when I wanted to be a web developer, which firstly does not make sense. But anyways, I just kept typing away. And honestly, at the time, I was learning some good good amounts. I, I was doing it on Code Academy, and I thought I was learning a good amount. Like I did some lessons, I did the projects that was within the, the code editor thing for them, and I thought I was making some progress. And I did this for around four months, and then someone said, hey, you should probably be doing projects so you can uh, have like a good portfolio. So I did that. I, I wanted to do a project in Python. I opened up my code editor, and guess what? I did not know how to do a single thing. Now think about that for a moment. Maybe you have ran into this as well, but imagine working on something for four, five months, dedicated hours and hours of your life to see absolutely nothing. And I felt terrible. I felt like I wanted to give up, which I actually did. And um, it hurt a lot. It was not something I wanted to feel again. And this may be what you are feeling right now, where you're, you're deeply upset at yourself, that you're not able to learn the subjects that you're trying to learn. Nonetheless, um, after quitting and then coming back and then trying again, um, I learned a couple of things and found out what my mistakes were when it came to learning how to code. So what I will share in this video was what took me from that little four month stage of my life of not being able to code to finally starting a business four months later. They are three main things that I added into my coding uh, sessions that really changed the trajectory of my life. That being project based learning, learning the bare minimum and dedicating hours every day. We're going to go in order. Okay. So a lot of the times what new developers like myself tend to do is we, we go on free code camp and we go on code academy and we type in the code editor thinking that we are actually doing work. You know, like they tell you to code something and you code it. And I believe that that is beneficial. Don't get me wrong. But what we tend to do wrong is we think that that's the correct thing. In reality, what you want to do is project based learning. And what I did is when I made the switch, instead of always following what Code Academy is showing me and looking at the hints and, and getting answers online right away, I opened up my code editor. I looked up a tutorial or like an idea about what sort of projects I should be doing. And I just started to learn. Now you may be saying like, Nazar, um, I don't know how to code. This is why I'm on this, on this uh, YouTube video. So you can show me uh, I'm struggling with this. That feeling right there is exactly what you want to feel. But instead of feeling upset at yourself that you're feeling that way, um, you should be dedicating that time to learning what went wrong and how you can change that. And what I mean by that is when you when you start coding in your code editor and you start to struggle, look up the answers online rather than getting the answers right away through uh, Code Academy or a free code camp. Another important thing about project based learning is that you are constantly doing projects to learn. I'll let you in on a little secret. Once you learn like the which we'll go over in, in a second, once you learn the bare minimum, so like for loops, variables, booleans, like those, those really basics, um, you basically just need to start applying. There's nothing else you can do to really significantly improve your work. I'll give you another example of project based learning until we move on. 
Um, for example, if you just started learning JavaScript and you learned the basics and you kind of understand the things, remove free code camp, remove code academy and start coding in your code editor with a project of yours. Not only will you learn 10 times more, but you'll also get a positive feedback loop from the learning experience because you will solve the problems. You're going to find a way to code it if you force yourself to. And that's exactly what happened with me. When I started doing project based learning, when I started doing JavaScript projects and tutorials after learning the bare minimum, once I came back from my failure time, um, I began, I began to build this uh, level of confidence in myself to do harder projects and start learning even more. So just start with a project and, and build from there. Okay. It's going to suck. It's going to be hard and it's not going to be that much fun, but I promise you once you get over that initial hump, um, it's, it's perfect. So some projects I recommend is like to do apps, um, a counter app, like where you press one button and it counts to one and then to two, like those are perfect. So the next thing you want to do is do the bare minimum. Again, what a lot of people tend to do that are new in code is think that they need to learn everything and be perfect at a subject in code before they can start a project. In reality, you're better off learning like the most important things at a bare minimum and then getting better at them through projects. What I used to do when I, in my initial times when I started to code is that I would learn, for example, for loops in Python and I would just read over the, the code academy words and think that, okay, uh, for loop is this, for loop is that. Cool. I understand it and I moved on. Well, obviously you're not going to learn that way. That's not how you learn to code with project based learning and learning the bare minimum, which means you read it over, you try to understand it to the best of your abilities, and then you apply it through a project eventually. So for example, if you're learning Python, go through the lessons, but don't think you're going to, you're going to absorb everything. You're not, you're not. Okay. The initial way of you learning to code was probably not helpful. So learning everything to the deepest level, you've already tried that, right? Like you're reading it and you're trying your hardest. It's not going to work. Okay. Just go through it, try to understand it, but understand that you're not going to get it perfect and then apply through a project in which you will get better because you're applying and you're reading even more. Now the final thing and where I believe I will get the most hate will be to dedicate hours to your code. What I didn't tell you is that prior to quitting, I'd only work like 30 to one hour, like three to four times a week. And I'm telling you that is not enough. You have to dedicate at least two to four hours of your life every day towards this goal. You have people with high level computer science degrees that are fighting against you in both business and your job. If you're going to take anything out of this video, know that you need to dedicate two to three hours every single day to your goals. This is where I saw the most significant growth in my entire life in anything. And by, by putting in the project based learning and learning the bare minimum, not only did I speed up my coding process because I'm learning the bare minimum, I wasn't worried about learning everything, but I also was applying projects which were added to my portfolio, which built this confidence in myself. And by doing that more because of dedicated hours every day, I was able to see the significant growth that I really wanted. And so if you're struggling, maybe this video is a sign like, are you not doing projects? Are you trying to be too nitpicky? Are you not giving enough time? New coders tend to fall into those three things. I definitely fell into all three. So be honest with yourself because then you can start fighting and start improving that area of your life. Do the best you can. And I promise somewhere in your time, if you just keep trying and, and, applying it's maybe in this something in this video you're definitely gonna see some growth okay thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah